Hello friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel today where I share some great ideas and I think I got a great idea to share with you today concerning the hydroponics that I've been doing. Anyway, uh, the last video that I sh did was uh, how to make the self-watering uh, uh, seed starting tray and uh, of course since then the seeds have grown up and uh, they're longer and I have uh, planted all I wanted there and was going to give the rest away but the person <laughs> he said I got piles already he's been doing the same thing I did I got them expired, expired about it anyway yeah so uh, containers what are you going to put these little tiny plants in containers well, one thing that you can do, of course, is, uh, which I'm going to show you today, is milk cartons. They're just fantastic. And there's a little trick to using those, which I discovered after I used them the first time I used them. And I made an improvement, believe it or not. Maybe that's a great idea. Maybe it isn't. Anyway, um, yeah, these came out of that little tray that you did there. And... Uh, then uh, I've got these too. I thought I'd show you too because there's a, another way to start the little seeds there. And these are romaine, red romaine lettuce. And a friend of mine had uh, a garden and he didn't take his romaine in last fall that went to seed. So there were seeds, little plants coming up all over the place. So just a matter of digging those up a little bit and separating them out, uh, wash the roots off, and uh, voila, I got uh, a start for romaine, red romaine lettuce. So you can do it numbers of ways. Um, you can start the seeds like I did there, or you got extra things coming out up of the garden that there's too thick, just pull them out. <laughs> you can you put them in one of these things here. So. Other things that you can use for uh, uh, putting the plants in, and I'm going to chiefly just talk about different ways to put the plants in. Of course, these cottage cheese containers, uh, lots of different containers with different things in them, and you can make make little holes there. I made three holes in that one for seeds, for starting the seeds. And of course, as you've seen on a lot of these other plants I did, I just used one big hole and put one plant in it, and then uh, such as this romaine lettuce here. So, you know, you can put that on the table and you can just take a bite out of it any old time. Yeah, but it, I found there's a disadvantage of using those type of containers, and I was going to tell you don't probably not really a good idea. Now they look uh, fairly solid but they're actually thin because manufacturers don't want to buy thick containers they're going to get thrown away. So I was thinking well I could put a covering on there and uh, cut them out of paper maybe that stick stuff with stick on the back put them around and that would uh, would help because if you get light through any type of container you do, you're going to start growing algae. And I had a lot of algae in these ones. Um, I'm not sure I could show you this one here. Let's just see what I got. In. I know I took a bunch of these and I, and I, and I washed them out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that's gross inside there, okay? Gross. And, uh, goes in there anyway. But this is going to get eaten right quick like. <laughs> in fact, um, all this uh, bok choy back here, that's going to go down the hatch in a couple hours here for sure. And make Chinese food out of that. That's going to be fantastic. Anyway, um, so another way to get those, stop the light from going in there is to, I had a piece of pipe and that was and just to make a collar and it would, you could set them down in that but I didn't want to waste the pipe I want to cut holes in it and grow stuff in that pipe so I had to cut the end off going, oh that's just the right size so anyway what do you get? I come up with this idea just 
probably 10 minutes ago when I was bringing this stuff out here. I, uh, yeah, I picked, I was looking for a container that I'd used and I had taken these and washed them out, uh, all the algae out and ate the plants. So I, I picked this one up and it feels fairly steady and then I found out, oh, there's two of them, two of them, there are two of them, see? But now, if we put two of them together, it'll be thick enough and it'll stop the light and won't uh, grow the algae as much. So isn't that a great idea? Just come by it by accident. So these containers, you have them by the hundreds and uh, so there's no problem. You could put three or four of them on here and you'd still have some left over. Anyway, so I think that's an advantage to there. The only disadvantage I've found with the individual containers is, depending on where you're growing them, you have to flip the lid there and add water, but uh, that's not all that difficult. So, um, we've got uh, all kinds of different containers. We've got uh, milk cartons, and uh, if you go on to keep on growing with Roger Van Doozy, he uses all kinds of containers too, but this is how, these are the ones he started out with uh, and still makes them and sells them and people make them and and uh, and that's a piece of uh, downspout from the gutters on a house and this is three by four and unfortunately I live in Canada and it doesn't seem like I can find any three by four. I had a friend bring these up from Oregon, believe it or not. <laughs> he happened to be coming up and he lives there. So anyway, that's uh, that's this is one that's not ma made. So uh, uh, the next video I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how to bend those ends, and I've got a great idea on that too. Uh, Mike, uh, he just whips those out so fast because he's done hundreds and thousands of them actually. And uh, but if you do it, you know you're going to struggle. So I'm going to show you the method that uh, I did that you can be successful, believe it or not, the first time. So that's going to be another great idea. But uh, what I wanted to do today, uh, we'll make, uh, this is for the, uh, uh, make these out of the milk carton. So you start out with a milk carton of some sort or a juice carton. Who knows what kind of carton you got there? And they're, these are quite good because they're uh, they're quite opaque, and I find I get very little algae in these. And they're real nice for starting the seeds. I put in five holes in there, and then uh, what I did here, I got the five holes in here, but I took all the plants out except for two, and uh, are growing two two plants in the same thing. It saved me making another one, but I've taken these and made the two inch hole, which you need for uh, the bigger plants, once you did that. and uh, But that works out good for just something that you're going to eat pretty quick. Okay, so it's just simple. You take a, a, a hole, a drill with a hole saw on it. I'm going to use about a one inch hole. You don't have to mark anything out. I just start in this corner over here. And if you work it right, the little piece will come out. If it falls in, you're going to have to fish for it, okay? And then one on this corner. That seems to give you the most uh, support. And then one in the center. Oop, there's one inside there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll put, kind of just come down the center there. Oop, that one went down too, didn't like me. Okay.
Alright, and then you just shake it out. And if you work it right, you can get your finger in there and follow. Got it out. Huh, that, oh, there's three in there, believe it or not. Oh, one fell out. Let's put one more in there. Okay. It likes it in there, I guess, so I'll leave it in there for a little while. Okay. And you'll find that these holes here are a little fuzzy. So I just I just take something and whip those off like that. Okay. And then the next thing is to do is Well, the first time I used these, that's all I did. Just cut the holes, put the stuff in, filled it up with water. These are nice because you can fill it here. And uh, so you don't have to pull a plant out to fill it. So that's an advantage. And if you fill it up to this level in here, then that's about the right amount. Because you need a certain amount of air roots to start growing there. But <clears throat> I had a problem with these. And that's what you can buy the milk or juice or whatever you want put it in and you can have it sitting around for a long time the carton doesn't fall apart why doesn't it fall apart well i guess it's got wax on it or something like that so it's it, it's uh fairly, and they're fairly strong so when you cut this hole in here well you're cut through the wax and then uh, you get water in here and the water penetrates the unprotected uh, cardboard there and pretty soon it starts to get a bit loose in there you're just planting the little plants in there you probably wouldn't have to so how are you going to do that well you're going to have to seal that somehow and uh, what i found is um, this stuff here called goop it's just something i had and you use that on shoes and boots and who knows what and glue all kinds of stuff together and it's and it's kind of gooey and thicky, thick, so, and I just stick a little bit on my finger, like that, and then I take the, take it here, and uh, smear it around this hole. Okay. You can see what I'm doing here. Now I've got to, can't remember which hole I used. Okay, this one here. Doesn't take too much. You just gotta take put enough in there to, to, and it'll be a little fuzzy, so it'll. And it seems to work, because I've had them and they don't seem to get soft. And, and that, and you can use it over and over again. The only trouble I've had with these is sometimes this doesn't seal. So I think keep this, keep the lid for matched for the one that you did there. And if you have one that just won't seal, you know what to do with it, don't you? How to fix that? Well, you just turn it in for recycle. Actually, now you get recycle here. So after you're done planting seeds and it gets all battered up, take it in, recycle it, and get money for it. But they're worth more for growing plants than you're going to get at the recycle place. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And then away you go. Now, I was going to bring a plant out here, uh, one of those little plugs. Now, okay. Just looking around for something to wipe my finger on. Okay, we've got it halfway clean. But let's just say, okay, let's take one of these out here that I planted a day or so back. See what the roots look like. Okay. Well, they're wet, and they're coming down. This little part is that soil that I put on top, but what I found after I got the thing out, I had a little bowl of water there, and I just dipped the root in, and that sand just falls right down, and works real good. So, so what you're going to do is I'll just take that out, set that over. Okay, so these little things, where do you get these little things? Well, you do the same thing with your hole saw. There. Uh, on the floor. Go dumpster diving to get it, I guess. And uh, this one's one inch, so I would go, say, one and a quarter. Those little sets are not very much. 
you can have one and you can drill all kinds of stuff and grow piles of stuff. Anyway, and you just drill them, drill them, and that gives a little hole in the center. Then you take your scissors and go snip, 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 and uh, that's all there is to it. So let's see if we can get a plant out of here. What I did on mine is I just loosened up the soil since that uh, you got with this method because I only put the the paper towel right down the center outside here there's no paper towel so you can go right down the plastic and scrape you're not scraping up paper towel and all kinds of stuff but Mike just grabs now look at that eh that's a nice gob of root and uh, I don't have the little thing on there but if I just go probably just I can maybe just blow it off and uh yeah, and then it's just a matter of clipping that in. Okay, I'll we'll put that in there. Okay, so now I've got that stuck in there, the root sticking out the bottom. And I'll just stick it in one of the holes that doesn't have the goop in there. And then that just set that in there. That's all it is to do it for, uh, for transplanting there. So anyway, before you know it, you'll have a, your house filled full of plants and uh, you'll probably have to move out or start eating. Anyway, they kind of get away with, get away on you a little bit. Uh, the Swiss chard is no problem, man. It grows a little slower and you just make it and eat it up great, like crazy. Lettuce too. Nothing wrong with having lots of lettuce plants and uh, we're just spearmenting with different kinds. Um, this kind here, different kind, bok choy, no, pardon me, this is butter crunch. I thought that would make a nice, uh, have nice tasty leaves. So it probably wouldn't make a head particularly, you'd probably eat the thing before you made it into a, a head, but it's really nice lettuce. I'd like to try some of the frilly stuff that, uh, almost like loose leaf and that, but, uh, yeah, so next video, how to form these things up and be successful the first time. You won't want to miss that for sure. And, uh, and that, so maybe by then I'll have another great idea. But uh, for the time being, uh, start. you've got your plants started from the last video. Now it's time to put them in a container. And I solved the problem today of uh, algae growing in these. Use two of them. And there are two of them or three of them, whatever it takes. I'm going to try two the next time because I think that's a great idea. So anyway, subscribe and uh, I'll have a few more videos this summer on growing and uh, hopefully some on motorcycling too. So. I live in the mountains here in northwest British Columbia near Alaska. We've got places to go that are just fantastic. And uh, you'll enjoy seeing that. Maybe crawl in some mines and stuff like that too. Anyway, I'm enjoying things and I hope you're having a good day too. So we'll see you another time. Bye.